Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, we have got a mail call from Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. Uh, I put in an order here uh, a while back when the first two of the second batch of the Rough Rider Reserves came about. I had a little bit of a heart attack when I went to order them. No, not quite a heart attack, but um, I found out they were in and I went to order them and I was going to order all four, but I saw that the uh, six and seven, the Rhino Toe and the a Nomad were out of stock. And I was like, oh my goodness, did they sell out already? Asked a couple of questions. No, they just haven't arrived yet. So, okay, cool. Back. I'll get the five and eight and we'll be all right. So, and as far as I can see right now, the six and seven still haven't come in or at least there's, they still show out of stock on the website, which usually means they haven't come in yet or at least aren't in the system yet so and the other thing is I had to order a third knife and you guys whoops some of you guys that can uh have placed orders recently and have shown pictures uh it's going to be very similar to the pictures that you guys have shown because well it just seems like those were the three knives to order at the time so we'll get all this out of here lots of paper Lots of stuffing, and we'll get, I bet you guys can guess what three knives I got. Just take a wild guess, but I'm sure you can. There we go. There they are. <coughs> we got the paperwork. Do they have, let's see, let's see. Oh, no sticker. Oh, oh. I was sure hoping for another one of those full Tang Clan stickers. I love those. Oh, no sticker this time. Oh my goodness. We'll have to have a talk about that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but let's see. Yep, we have the RR005. That is the common stock, if I remember correctly. Or no, the Hedgehog. Hedgehog, I'm sorry. I got them mixed up. And then the RR008 is the common stock. And then, well, let's start with this little guy. You guys recognize that number? 2257. Those of you, the Rough Rider fans out there, what do you think it is? Yes! Yes, it is. It is the red upswept bow trapper. I mean, come on, you guys knew I was going to get one of these. You knew. You just knew. Another design by Andy from SMKW. Oh, man. Oh, that's got a decent. Not bad. Pull. Yeah, the pull's probably a a five-ish. Yeah. And this is kind of opposite of the other one. Well, let's see. Here, real quick. I should have grabbed it. Hang on. Bad TV. Watch. And bask in the glory of... There it is. Bask in the glory of the red. It's kind of the reverse of the original. See, you've got the red, and then you've got the black. Well, the, the new one is red with the black underliners, where the original was black with red underliners. So kind of the reverse. reverse. Now, I do, a lot of people were asking me, it was like, uh, about the micarta work knife. And I have put in a request for a red micarta work knife. Do I think it'll ever happen? Eh, maybe not, but my request is in. But there you go. Nice. I really like the Upswept Bow Trapper. It feels really good in hand. It's a nice little blade, that choil. Man, it's got a nice little choil on it. Match strike pull. We'll just give it a quick glance over. Man, it looks pretty darn good. Not too bad. $13, got a lanyard uh, hole tube, however you want to refer to it. Man, very nice. Everything's so nice and flush. Done very well. Transitions. Transitions are really good. Oh, yeah. Man, that shield is inlaid very, very well. Man, just an awesome, awesome little knife for 13 bucks, man. Very, very cool little knife. All right, so now let's check out the reserves. Let's do, let's do the Hedgehog. That's the 005. Now, you guys know that I've pretty much um, decided that I was going to do my best to collect every single knife in the Rough Rider Reserve collection. 
Um, as far as I know right now, there are, what, 16 planned. They do come in the nice tube, built for hand, back for life, like that. Nice presentation, got a little foamy. And then of course, oh, poison for the trolls. They come wrapped in this nice cleaning cloth. I got a bunch of Rough Rider Reserve cleaning cloths now. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. And we'll just do that for now. Put that right there on the table. And then of course, their wax paper. And we'll take a look at it. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, very nice. Very nice, again. Very flush transitions and transitions are really, really nice. Now, I heard people say uh, a couple of th things I've heard to say is it's heavy. Um, yeah, it, it's definitely got some weight to it. Um, too heavy? Mm, no, not really. Oh, nice, man. Look at that clip. Nice clip point blade. Nice swedge right there. I dig that look. Kind of how it almost false edge type of grind to it i really like that nail neck pull very good oh nice nice snap to it i'd say the pull on this one is probably closer to a six very nice nice choil once again for sure got that clip point and then we have oh look at that nice warning man oh sweet Really nice Warncliffe. Again, a nice swedge on it. Nail nick pull. Now these are all D2. The Rough Rider Reserves are all D2. There's your Rough Rider Reserve marking. That one's got a nice snap to it too, man. Pull on that one is probably... Five and a half to six again. Nice. Dual spring. Yeah, man, those are really, I like it. I really like it. Of course, I like the arrowhead shield and everything. Very, very nice. Really, really like this pattern, the hedgehog pattern. Very cool. Excellent. Well, we're going to put that right there next to the bow trapper. And we will take a look at the common stock. Now, from everything I've seen and everything, the common stock is pretty much just that. It's a common stockman pattern. So, we'll take a look at it. Again, nice another cleaning cloth. Very pretty. Now, oh, let's do this. Let's get... Let's kind of... Yeah, we'll do this. We're going to... We're going we're gonna to try to be fancy. How's that? There we go. The pillars. The Rough Rider Reserve pillars. Oh man, that's a good size knife. That's a good size stockman. Again, it does have a little bit of weight to it, but it's a larger knife, so it kind of. And when I say larger, it's completely relative, guys. I don't. But it's a good. I mean, closed length. It's one, two, three. It's about four and a quarter closed length. Again, back springs are really nice. Again, everything is so nice and flush. I mean, look at that. Transitions. Man, I can... No, that's... I'm feeling that up there, the transition. I'm actually not feeling anything. And these are done so well. Sweet. Very, very nice. Nice, again. Nice clip point blade on that. That one's a little bit... That's a little bit lighter. I'd say probably a five. Not too bad. Now, the two smaller ones, the two secondary blades are even, oh yeah, sheep's foot. They actually, it looks like they share a spring. That's actually got a nice little snap on it. And then you got your cap lifter, kind of flat head. Yeah, those got some decent snap on them for sharing a spring. They actually kind of, let's see. Yeah, they actually have a little bit more snap than I think the main blade does. But still, not bad at all. The pull on these two are a little bit, eh. It felt like it at first. Eh, 
I'd go five, five and a half. Yeah, they're all right in there, that five, six range. Uh, fairly decent. Man, now I did have somebody ask me a question about these. And they asked me a question. Do I think um, they're worth it? Um, from everything I've seen so far, guys, I mean, they're well on par and, and sometimes better uh, than case knives. It, that's my opinion. They're, they're At the very least, they're on par with them, and I, I do think better in some cases. And, yeah, yeah, you know, they've always, they've all been in that $49 to $59 price range, and... Yeah, I do, guys. I think they're, if you just go by kind of the standards of what we're seeing in traditional knives right now, the tr yeah, I do. I, I think they're worth it. Now, the only thing, the only really, I guess, sort of negative thing I would say is for the bar back pattern, I really wished that one was a single bladed knife. Uh, because using the secondary blade with the with the cap lifter and stuff where it's built in. Well, let's see here. Let's just show it real quick. Um, when you're using that secondary blade, if you've got that out and you're trying to use it, um, this isn't overly comfortable, which, I mean, it makes sense. It's kind of a, it's just the build of the blade. Now, if it just had this main blade, I think it would be, yeah, very much so. Now, I know people said, well, what's the use for it? Well, it, to me, it's a collector's item. It really is. And is it functional? Oh, without a doubt. It's definitely functional. You can lift a cap. You can, you know, use it pretty much in any aspect that a bar back would be using it. Acts, um, opening bottles, you know, cutting the, cutting the paper or wax around a, a wine bottle or a whiskey bottle or whatever the case may be. Um, it's definitely, definitely a usable knife. Just probably better served as a single-bladed knife, in my opinion. But yeah, are they worth it? Yeah, they are to me, guys. Uh, that's that's all I can tell you, is they definitely are to me. So, really, really appreciate it. Lots more, lots more coming. Man, I can't wait for... I tell you what, the... What was it? The 7, the RRR, R, triple R, zero, zero, 007... The Nomad, that's the one. That's it. Lockback. That's the one I'm really, really interested in checking out because it's kind of it would be the first lockback in in the series, which is cool. And uh, I'm kind of interested in the Rhino toe toe too, but uh, the Micarta looks really good on the Nomad. Um, what's the overall length on it? I'm going to check real here. So that one is a almost a seven and a half inch lockback. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So yeah, I'm really, really interested in checking that out. That one's probably got my interest out of these last four uh, the most. I'll be perfectly honest with you. So definitely looking forward to checking it out. So stay tuned, guys. Those two, the six and seven, uh, will be coming in. The Rhino Toe and the Nomad will be getting those as soon as they come in. So Thanks a lot, guys. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your week and a terrific weekend. Remember, SKL, Saturday night, 10 p.m. Pacific time. Hope to see you there. Until then, like, subscribe, leave me that comment, guys. You know I love talking to you. Tell me what you think about these two, the RR005 and 008 Hedgehog and Common Stock in the Rough Rider Reserve. I'll catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.